Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 35 of Let's Play Dark Cloud, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I did do some minor rearranging of some of the areas here in Muscaraca, but they're not really that profound, and my request is still at 0% because the three sisters want to do something with the Pole Guardian. And we don't have that totem yet. So that explains despite being close to the Oasis, the request is at 0. Alright, let's get to level 12 of this temple. There's still a lot of places we need to patch up for us. Maybe we'll run into some new enemies, you never know. Oh, just another golem. I did free up some uh, inventory space for our attachments because that was running pretty low. Oh, okay. Found the King Slate immediately on the first enemy we killed. That don't happen too often. In fact, we'll use it right away, just to get rid of it. There. Now let's go look for some Atla. And chests. Also, I noticed these mummies use whips. It's probably their bandages, but it does remind me of, well, the Belmonts. That reminds me, I haven't let's play the Castlevania game in ages. Huh, <laughs> Toto. Now we just need to find Dorothy. And in terms of the Castlevania games, I don't know about Castlevania 64, because emulators are a bit of a crapshoot. And, well, I do have Lament of Innocence and Curse of Darkness for the PlayStation 2. I haven't played them in ages. In fact, those are th two Castlevania games I've never beaten. Lament of Innocence and Curse of Darkness, I was both close, but they were both rentals. And once you get to, like, the later stages, my skills have been kind of sucking. For what I had to do there. Huh, another secret path key. That's ridiculous. But who am I to complain? It's gonna make my life a little bit easier. Also, I know I should be making more uh, synth spears out of the uh, excess weapons, like I've been doing with the Macho Sword. However, I've never really had much time to. I mean, I was going to earlier yesterday when I was recording the last couple of episodes, but. I went to a Sandbox Gaming's uh, chill night where there was like no TVs, we didn't need them. We were just playing our 3DS's, tabletop games, and the like. Came so close to winning the Mario Kart 7 tournament too. But I picked Woohoo Loop, and on the last lap, I made too sharp a turn. Well, or maybe not sharp enough a turn. And then I fell, and my opponent, she capitalized and won. The two other people I had to go against, I mean, my god, we had to sudden death each time. Because it was like versus, like one on one, 150cc, pretty much any item you want, and it was four races. And if each of you won two races, you had to do like a sudden death race. I had to do sudden death on both rounds that I won, but not on the one that I lost. But I gotta hand it to her, she did play really well. And I think she was in the semi-finals or finals of the Smash 3DS tournament. Which I got to the third round despite only winning one round. Because my first round opponent did not update his version of Smash. And that's an automatic forfeit. They give you like a couple weeks in advance to warn you that's what you need to do. And a couple people didn't. So I wasn't going to look a gift horse in the mouth. But the one who beat me, she's very good as Rosalina and Luma. In fact, it felt like a handicap match most of the time. And as a result, my Bowser just could not handle it. But, these are the breaks. It happens. I just gotta learn to get better. Oh, right, we need Ongaga for this. Yeah, we still don't have another weapon for him. Was I not standing in the right spot, really? Oh, you had to stand right in the middle. They couldn't just put me there for the cutscene. There. And the sooner we get Ungaga a new weapon, the better. Because right now, his just sucks ass. Well, the default weapons always suck ass. Ooh, free upgrade! That makes me pretty happy. Yeah, Undead and Aquamarine is what I wanted to go with. Alright. 
Stats are at max, though. Okay, ice we don't need anymore. We just need dino, undead, metal, and mimic. Alright, well, there are some undead enemies here. So we'll go with that. I feel like we're getting closer to getting that thing stronger. Still got a ways to go, though. Just remember, the further you go, the longer it takes just to get this to level up. Also, these dunes do a hell of a lot of damage. We're gonna need some more fluffy donut stat. That sounds like the Homer Simpson way of surviving. We're hungry! We need more donuts! Huh. Did I not open that chest? Watch out, it's another secret path key. Nope, it's water. Well, we kinda needed water. Should we go to the, uh, back floor? I'll do that in my own time. I feel like we should be doing more by, like, advancing the floors rather than just staying on this one. You were saying, no, it's not a wasted opportunity, because I got two of them. Let's go. Let's do this. Alright, so... Okay, I have to use Ungaga for this. This could suck. A lot. Because, again, he doesn't really have a new weapon. In fact, his weapon is still at level zero. At least dunes are easy. You just hit them once, you back away, and there you go. It's a frustrating process, though, but it works. Here, that guy was trapped. Okay. The sooner we find that King Slate, the better. We got lucky on the last floor. Let's hope we get lucky on this one, too. Watch now, it happens to be the very last enemy we fight. I know we're not gonna find it in chess, but I would like to get more items. Can he not bend over to open that? Like, is his knees that weak? Phantoms are okay. Then I have a greater chance of hitting those. And you don't really have to back away so much. Compared to, like, dunes, of course. So yeah, I did use the Scorpion Jerky off-screen on Ungaga. I had to reset a couple times because it kept giving me defense up of 5. Until I got the defense up of 7. So, let's take a look at the stats. And it's at 45. That's pretty solid. I believe there is another Scorpion Jerky, though. I believe most areas tend to have, like, 2 defense ups per character that you have. Yeah, we gotta get this repaired. Do I have anything attached to it? Oh, attack and endurance. If we can find, like, a big chest that has another weapon, we're set. Hopefully it's not the bomber head that has it, because, you know, they tear through your weapon HP like nobody's business. We just hit them. We just hit them a few times. Okay, that did have the King Slate. In a way, that was actually pretty good. Because we had to kill a very minimal amount of enemies. Now let's try to find the exit, or at least find some more chests. You know, some parting gifts, so to speak. Or we'll try to avoid as many fights as possible. Unless we know we can defeat them with ease, like, say, a phantom. Dunes I'd rather avoid. A couple more chests over there I'd like to open. And then we can leave. That would be our best course of action. There seem to be no mimics on this floor. Oh, bomb nuts. And in here we find Endurance plus one. They mostly take up space. 
But, there we go. That's all the chests here. So let's get out of here. I would imagine it would be a bad idea to use the back floor key here. Because maybe the limitation still applies. And I'd rather not take a chance on that. Standard enemies are too strong for Ungaga right now, let alone the uh, upgraded ones. Also, I noticed his ankles are so small. Oh, I hear uh, Krabby Kermits. I was nearly struggling with the name there. Another Endurance plus one. I gotta start getting rid of these, given that you can buy them in no rune anyway. Huh, Gron. The hell is that guy? Gotta start using one of these waters. Totem pole, head three. I suppose we should just keep going down. Because usually when you go down is where that leads to the exit. Totem pole B. Alright. We don't have the King Slate yet, do we? Oh, there's water. That saved me one of my consumable waters. Odds and ends again. You know, I don't see why we just keep the bottles and just fill them up in here. I mean, that's how Link would have done it. We should all be like him. I mean, this guy wears a green hat, uses a blade, another totem pole head three. That's probably for the other pole guardian. Oh. Oh, it's a king mimic. Damn it, I was hoping there'd be a weapon for Ungaga. He needs one badly, like I said before. Wait, do I have the King Slate? I probably don't. No, I don't. So let's look for it. Uh, we'll use a treasure chest key. Oh, it's my weapon. What do I have that's garbage? Well, I don't need that many Sandbreakers. Yeah, so let's get rid of you. I don't need a sandbreaker. I'll just take a saw? I think it said saw. I hope it didn't say sax. Sax on my phone. Also, let me go this way first. Blue dragon? Oh, they go through your weapon HP like crazy. Like the other dragons did. Okay, gotta play it safe. It looks like they can freeze you too. Maybe I would have done more damage if I just switched my element. But even then, it ain't too bad. Please have the King Slate. No, you got money. That ain't bad. I kind of wish they stopped giving you tutorials on that. It's like, I know what it is. You should stop telling me by now. That is why I put the user manual away. I don't use it anymore. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen a regular mimic. And there's our King Slate. Let me look for other chests and check out that glyph. Plus, there's more Atla, too. And here we get. More odds and ends. Alright. Oh, free level up. That's two times in a row that's happened. 
We're getting lucky, I'm telling you that much right now. Okay, it still needs Undead, Metal, and Mimic. So we're getting closer. We'll go with Metal and Mimic. Alright. Closer and closer. I mean, our weapon isn't going to get stronger, except against certain types of enemies. That's as good as it's going to get. There's another chest over there, but I bet you that's a mimic. That's okay, we can break it. And plus, I don't have to ease up on the Dren's Feather, because we got more than one. Yeah, it was a mimic. Can't say I'm surprised. In fact, I welcome it. Money drops have been decent. All things considered. So, let's patch up at that spring before we leave. In fact, I should let all my characters do that. Well, the ones I've been using. You know, we'll just do it for all of them. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Hey ho, let's go. Alright, we did a nice bit of progress. That's three floors right there. I think we should go. We did good. With the potential to do better. Also, I don't even have my, uh, pro my file up. I like checking everything. Is there another chest around here? There is. It's a Fruit of Eden. Good. I think that's everything right here. We're on this area. Okay. So. What else do we need around the outside area? Probably like a grass cake. And there it is. Now we'll check the abandoned house one more time. Do we have everything there? I don't think so. Nope, we haven't got everything there. Close. Let's check inside. Oh, oh, wait. Another Fruit of Eden. Good. I think that's everything inside the house. Now, before we, like, look for what we already got, let's just do what we can here. Prisoner of War. Okay, so that's the person for the prisoner's cabin. Toto Chief Banka. <laughs> Odds and ends right here. And let's see. Toto obviously goes there. We'll put your odds and ends right here. Totem pole B. I think we'll put over here. Or maybe it's the other totem pole. We'll see. I just gotta look at it first. Okay, that was the right one. Good. Well, it was the wrong one. They just wouldn't put it there, I guess. Handle? Huh. Let's go to the prisoner's cabin first. There might be something there for me. But first, let's take a look. What was around there? No, oh, there was no other items. That's right. So I should just, like, talk to Gron. What do you want? This ain't a show, you know. Um. I want to see the sunrise. What's wrong with that? Huh. A Poseidon? Gronus Maximus? Alright. Here is Butthole. Huh. <laughs> 
Also, I think we might have had a bit of desync right at that moment, so give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on here and see what this event's all about. Let's see what he's got to say. Why are you in prison anyway? I would like to know. <laughs> so it's you! That hero guy restoring this village! Hey, don't waste your time. This world's already doomed! Hey, Ungaga, what's up? He's Gron, a scorpion warrior. One of us sand warrior's mortal enemies. He was taken hostage a year ago. He's a dangerous one. Don't get too close. <coughs> you don't look that dangerous. Hey, that's you, huh? Ungaga. Well, if I ever get out of this cage, you'll be dead. I hear you are on the downside these days, you coward. Oh, hit him. What? Why'd you let him go? Huh? Look, I was just kidding. We both know I don't stand a chance against you. What is it with you? Come on, don't get mad. You'll destroy the cell. He already did. How do you put it back? What? I bet you want me to say thank you, right? Look at me. Am I gonna thank you? Stupid. You should. That'd be the right thing to do. I got you to face the sun. Even though right now it's dark. Is there anything around this totem pole? No, there isn't. This is Toto's house, right? I believe so. And what's this? Ah, Stonebreaker? He's probably not even home. Oh well, we'll check on him later. Now, is there anything else? Another Stonebreaker. Alright. That might be him there. Wow! Who are you, bro? You just moved to this village, huh? Right on! Oh, that's Toto. I'm Toto! Nice to meet you! Oh, I don't care. Just be careful how you place the totem pole. You know how. No, I don't. You just need to have the totem pole. Oh, the mini totem. Right. That's easy enough. Still needs a stone giant, though. So, we're missing that. There's the other pole, that's pole B. And there we get Stonebreaker, that's another one. And Tasty Water, so that's everything to do with that pole. Huh, pole. Alright. Let's check out the Oasis next. It's basically our bit of a roll call, it's like, Water, Water, Bueller. <laughs> A bomb nuts. And tasty water. So that's everything with the Oasis. I feel like we're pretty damn close to getting everything. We got 72% of stuff, 64 of it complete, and 11% of requests. That's probably that prisoner. Alright, so let's go to... Should we go to Jabubu's house? Did I get everything there? I think I did. What about Brooke's house? Okay, there's still a couple things. Sky Hunter. We got that. But I think that's all for outside. Now, let's take the Beast Buster. And an attack plus two. That's real good. So Brooke is complete. We're making that list much shorter now, which is great for us. Where do we go to next? Three sisters. Okay. And witch parfait. Awesome. Uh, Zabo's house we haven't gone to next. Alright, let me cross out the three sisters all together. Oh, attachment bag is full again. I think both that's outside is an attachment. 
Let's check inside. Attachment. Power up powder. Good. And attachment. So technically we got everything, but we just need to actually pick it up. And right now, I think that's all we can do. We're still missing a house, all things considered. Now, let's see. We'll probably have to like rearrange some stuff shortly. But for now, I feel like we did good. Actually, let's see if I rearrange it like this. Will that be great in its own right? Let's talk to the sisters. Or maybe I gotta have the bird face the other way. But I think this is the right way. Let's talk to them. Hum, hello. Oh, it looks like I got that request completed. Yep, 33%. So the other places should be alright as well. Yeah, I got Brooke and Zabo right here. As for the rest of them, we'll deal with that once we get the other poll. Well, at least we know this one is right. Not too sure about what else goes here. But I think this guy is happy, and I say Toto will be as well. We just need... what else goes over there? So, we'll stop the video right here, and in the next part, we'll go back in the dungeon. Clear up some inventory space, too. See everybody, thanks for watching.